Hi everybody, happy Halloween. <laughs> I am back with the last project in our 13 haunted projects of Halloween. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Halloween so far. And I thought I'd kind of keep up with the um, little coffin theme I've been uh, going with. I made these coffin embellishments the other day. So I thought it might be fun for our last project to make a coffin tree box. That's the back. And that's the front. So for the little Mr. Bones here, skeleton guy, I used the Mr. Bones stamp set and this is from Paper Tray Ink. And then for the Halloween, Happy Halloween sentiment, I used this Graphic 45 um, stamp set from Hampton Art and I got the Happy Halloween there. And it doesn't have a name um, for this one, but it has a cool skull and all kinds of things on this one. I really like it. And then for the paper, you see here the spider paper. I used Halloween Garden by DCWV. And I think that's about it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to make is the coffin um, shape for the front and the back. And then we'll go ahead and make the treat box and put it all together. So what you're going to need to make the coffins you're going to need a sheet four and a half by three. You're going to want to line the top right hand corner past your cut line to the half inch mark, bottom right hand corner to the one inch. So one inch past the cut line, a half an inch, and cut. And then you're going to line this point up here directly on your cut line. And then the bottom right hand corner, you're going to want to go to a half an inch and cut. Flip it around, bottom right to the one inch, top right past the cut line to the half inch. Line your point up right here on the cut line. And then the bottom right goes past the cut line to your half inch mark. And you're going to want to cut. So you're going to want to do that to both pieces. over one inch past the cut line to the half inch and one more time and then you want to mat them and your mats should measure four and a quarter four and a quarter two and three quarter inches and you're going to want to do the same exact measurements. Bottom right corner on the one inch, top right past the cut line to the half inch. And I've already done the other mat, so we won't have to do both here. Okay, flip it over. Top right to the half, bottom right to the one. And then line up your point here on the cut line. And then the bottom right goes to the half inch, right past that cut line. And you're going to want to do that to both of your mats. So once you have that completed, I kind of made the front of my coffin 
similar to um, our embellishment here by taking that cobweb netting. I used gray and lining it up over the mat or over the base just like that. And then I took some hot glue here and I'm just going to run it all around the edges and some in the middle. Flip it over and lay it right on top. And then you're going to want to press down. I didn't do it to the back, I just did it to the front. The back I just left plain. And then you're going to trim off your excess. And I don't get rid of these little pieces because when I do other embellishments, I kind of tuck these little pieces in here and there. So I like to use up all of it if I can. I don't like to waste it if possible. Okay, get that out of our way. Okay, so we have the front of the coffin. Just going to trim it up a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to mat this one. Okay, so we have that piece done. And then for the bottom here, for the grass, I just took um, a green piece of paper from the mat stack itself. And I'm just going to show you what I did over here. I just started cutting little, like, different size triangle pieces. Kind of make it look like grass. Okay. And then I laid it on here and tried to measure it where I liked it and just trimmed it off. I think I'm just gonna make a little triangle piece out of that. And that looks cute. Make that a little straighter. Okay. And then on the back of the grass I put a strip of dimensional foam tape just peel off the backing here line it up at the bottom And then I have my Mr. Bones, and I already put, I kind of fussy cut him out. And I also used, I inked up the edges of him with some of this black soot distress ink from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to put him in so his feet kind of go under the grass a little bit. And try and get him in the center. Sorry if you hear all the dogs barking, but my neighbors have their dogs outside and it's kind of right outside my window here. Okay, and then I have this little cute foam um, pumpkin. Just peel off the back there 
them on the bottom. And then I have my Happy Halloween sentiment. And I used some of the green that I used for the grass. And I glued the sentiment onto that. Cut that out. And then I put a little bit of orange cardstock in the back. Just kind of give it a little bit of color. And then added dimensional tape. And I'm going to put that... I'm going to try to put it right up here at the top. There we go. Mm, I might want to move that a little higher. See if I can pull it off without pulling off the paper. Yay! That's actually foam tape from the Dollar Tree. That stuff sticks pretty well. Okay, let me just trim up some more of this stuff here. And we got our front piece all finished. So let's put these aside and get out our scoreboard. And for the coffin treat box itself, You're going to need a sheet that measures 9 by 4. Line it up at the 9 inch mark. And you're going to score at 4 inches. And again at 5. Flip it over. Line it up at the 4 inch mark. You're going to score it at 1 inch. And again at 3 inches. You're going to want to fold up all your score lines. And we're going to put this together pretty much like we do the other ones. You're going to cut on this score line to meet up with this one. Just don't cut past. You're going to cut on this score line, meet up with the next. So it creates this inside flap here. Flip it around and do the same thing. And then I fold the two flaps in a little bit. And I, oh. And then I add glue to those flaps. And I'm going to flip this up to meet that flap. Same thing on this side. And I'm going to use my bone folder to press that down. Make sure that's nice and secure. And then these two flaps here, I'm going to add some more glue. I cannot believe it's Halloween. The time just really flew for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this series this year. Tomorrow, please join me again. We are going, I'm going to be continuing my Jingle Jangle Christmas series. And that'll start tomorrow and it's going to go right up to Christmas Day. Let me press that down. Press this down. You can get a whole lot of candies in there. It's nice and tall. I think it actually measures um, two by four. And then all I'm going to do is add glue to the front.
anyway, I started the Jingle Jangle Christmas series in July, and I did say that I was going to continue it. So there should be a video on tomorrow. And I'm going to back this front of the coffin up right to the box. Before I really press it down, I want to make sure everything's lined up real nice. Okay. And then take my bone folder again and run it along the inside. Press it down really well. I didn't get that down there really well. There we go. There we go. And same thing on this side. Add glue to the box itself. And then I'm going to set it down. I'm going to take this and press it right up against it. And then I put my fingers on the both sides to make sure this back part is lined up with the front. And then press it and run your bone folder again on the inside of all the edges. And that's it. And then you can stuff it with candy. And then I have some of this decorative shred that I got at the Dollar Tree. So after you stuff it with candy, you can just stick some of that in. And you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you make some of these. If not this year, because it's already Halloween. Um, save the video for next year. Or make them now and you'll have them all ready to go. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. You take care and happy crafting.